Hey y'all, welcome back to Fly After 50. We're back with another video. I'm Dee, and today we're going to be doing a look with some drugstore products. Some are big hits, some are first impressions, some are second impressions. Just come on along for the ride and watch this as I give you a few reviews. Okay, y'all, I'm here barefaced it under these disrespectful lights because I'm here. We're going to be doing a full look with some drugstore products. Of note, my skin is normal to dry, mature skin. I'm 52. I've already done my skincare. I've already done my uh, SPF and I'm ready for my primer. Okay, the first thing I'm going to be doing is something that I've already used before and absolutely love. It is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer. This is what it looks like. Hopefully my lights aren't up too loud, uh, out too loud, <laughs> too bright. But if it is, I'll, I might have to just put a picture in here. 93% natural ingredients. It's a hydrating and smooth base, y'all. This primer feels so good on the skin. It's hydrating, smoothing. It's, it's just, it just feels wonderful. I don't know how Essence was able to, to make this for such a reasonable price. But y'all, I absolutely love it. If my skin loves it too. Next up, my foundation. I've used this foundation once and it blew me away. I don't know if my face loves it because since I shaved my face, all my foundation will look better. But this foundation is amazing. And it's from, in my, in my humble opinion, this is from Flower Beauty. It's their Light Illusion Luminous Makeup with the Nude Skin Feel. It has all day wear and it has SPF 15 sunscreen in it. And I have mine in D3 Mocha. It feels so good on the skin. It looks so good on the skin. I can't attest for longevity because yesterday when I wore it, I went for a walk after having it on a couple hours and it is not sweat proof. I sweated, I sweated the whole thing off. So it's not sweat proof. So don't, don't, don't think, don't think that. It is not that, and it doesn't claim to be that. But before I go forward, let me go ahead and do a little color correction because of the darkness around my mouth or my chin area. I'm gonna do some for under the eyes and a little bit oh, on my um, natural contour and right here on my nose. All right, got that blended in nice and good. Here, I'm going in with my Light Illusion Foundation from Flower does have a pump, two pumps on my hand. It's a little bit runny, but not, not extremely. Okay, while I'm letting this settle just a little bit, I'm going to go do my brows off camera and holy grail status has been reached by the NYX Fill and Fluff using combination with Lift and Snatch. And if I have one complaint about these two, it is there's no spoolie on the end. They, this one does have, the, the Fill and Fluff has this. Well, I don't really like it, so that'll be my one complaint. I'll be right back. My eyebrows done. Next up, I'm going to be using this Colourpop, Colourpop Party Proof Eye Primer. I don't know how good it is. It didn't get too many good ones. Now, I'm using the concealer for the uh, serum 
foundation because the concealer for the Light Illusion foundation did not get a review, so I didn't buy that one. But this one I really like. I like it so much that I'm going to order the serum foundation and see how good it is. So, and I have this in all mint. So since my since my foundation is a little, I mean it's the right foundation, but it does seem it is dark compared to my neck. I'm just going to do my center on my face in this, which is uh, which I bought. I'm going to get a lighter color because this is exactly light enough, but I like it. So I feel weird when I have the foundation the color of my neck. It just does not seem like it's dark enough to me, even though it is acceptable. All right, so we're going to blend this in with my sponge. So in your Kashik sponge, which I do like these sponges, but sometimes they're a little too firm. I like a little more give. Now, to set this concealer, I'm going to be using the um, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Love, 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 love. This is definitely a love. And this is a light medium. And all I do is blend this real good. I don't bake or anything like that. I just go in and blend until I feel like it's good. under my eye so the next thing we'll go in with is my cream bronzer I'm trying this for the first time this is the Mora stay golden cream foundation been hearing a lot about this brand even though I had already been ordering from but I guess it's starting to pick up that they're, they're a good affordable brand online and this is their stay golden cream bronzer and I got mine in tan brown there is one color darker than this. One color darker than this. But I thought this one would be okay, so we'll see. It's a nice soft bronze, because I already have darker bronzers. So I wanted to see what this one looked like. It's nice and creamy. That's it, but it blends right in. That's the foundation on my hand as well. So, hmm. Maybe I should have got the darker one, but I don't like this. I like it. It's a soft bronze. Looks good, looks good. Now I'm just going to do a little bit. This is another bronzer I like. And it's real good. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer in Paradise City. I believe there's a, I don't know if there's a color dark in this, but I'm just going to go along my nose with this one. I like that soft bronze. We'll see once I take some pictures outside. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is going with some blush. So, I'm going to be using this cream blush from Flower Beauty. And it is in the color Cinnamon. That's this weird dropper like. <laughs> there. That's a color right there. It's a nude like color. And I got another. I have the, uh, this is old, I don't even know if they sell these anymore. The NYX Ombre Brush in Nude to Me. Looks like that. Comes in this packaging. This was from a while ago. Long while. So I'm just going to put that on top of it. It has a little. Where's it home? It's right there. A little sheen to it. You know what? 
highlight won't hurt. This is the Essence Pure Nude Starlight, Pure Nude Sunlighter in Be My Sunlight. I really like this. This. That's it right there. Oh, forget it. I'm putting it on. Forget it. Extra glow ain't never hurt nobody. Always going with my shimmers. I just like to touch them. So today I'm going to try my best to use a brush to apply them and see what happens. So uh, let's go. Now let's do the eye look. Another thing from Flower Beauty I have, and these are definitely favorites are their um what are these called well there it's just eyeshadow palettes but one is jungle light these are all shimmers and this is desert lights so jungle lights is the darker of the two look at that green and purple beautiful and <clears throat> Desert Light is the rosier one. These are about $20 on Ulta, but you know how, how their sales go. So you can definitely get it on a sale. I am going... Whew, they're so beautiful. Let me swatch these, actually. This is Desert Light. Top row, bottom row, and the, this is jungle light. So, desert lights, jungle lights. So Okay, while I'm thinking of the, thinking of which one I'm going to use, let me show you the mattes I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the ColourPop eyeshadow, inspired by my sis here on YouTube, Silver Curls Zelda. She used a ColourPop palette, and I was like, I'm going to use the ColourPop palette tomorrow as well. But here, so I'm going to be using the mattes from this one. Some darker color mattes from this Wild Child palette. Which, shame on me, I've had for a while, and I have never used it. So today's the day. Okay, I think I'm going to go with... You know what? I can use them both. I can use this color here from the Jungle Mats. Going for a rosy look. And I can use this lighter rosy color here from... um. The desert, the desert lights. That way I use all three palettes. Look at me. Well, I'm gonna go in with this uh, orangey shade up here. I'm working on keeping my mouth closed because I go back to my videos. I'm like, why is my mouth always open? So you get to the good part. So from Jungle Lights, I'm using this color, and I think it's called Tiger Lily. 
that color right there. No, no, no. See that finger's ready? That finger's ready. No, I'm not using your finger. No, don't look at me. There we go. I'm going to spray it though. Use this e.l.f. Soothing Alum Mist. You can spray it with anything as the, as the gurus always say. So now I'm just going to... Is that the right one? Shell, that is not the right one. Oh no, that's not the right one. Let me see if I can cover it. It's really supposed to be um, wild. <laughs> that is not the right one. I'll cover that one up. These are kind of chunky, right? I mean, it doesn't have any hard glitter or nothing in it, but it looks chunky. And I have a mature lid, so in this case, it looks like I should use my fingers to smooth it out. Actually, I like that a lot better than, let me see if I can show you. Okay, I'm going to put it on with, the, with this. See, I don't like how that looks. See? But when I smooth it out with my finger, oh yeah, I like that better. So I'm gonna use my finger this time. Then I'm gonna go in and make sure I use the right one, okay? It's this one right here that one. Can you see it? So, that one right there. Let me see it. Oh, yeah. This one here is a little smoother, too, than the jungle lights. Yeah, this one's a little smoother. Okay, I did get a little bit of fallout, but I'm cool. <laughs> to spray my face. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Soothing Aloe Mist. Very good sprayer here. Very nice. Now I am going to do my mascara. I'm not going to do any eyeliner or lashes. Don't, don't look for lashes, y'all. But I'm going to use Sky High Last Central Mascara. This is really good. I really like it. It does have a tapered brush. And it is not goopy, but sometimes it can come out. Sometimes it can come out a little goopy, but most of the time it doesn't. It's not overly goopy because I don't like it. putting on is my lipstick and I got these uh, lipsticks from Mora Cosmetics. Um, I'll put the name of them in here. But the color I have is the Nude Peach. Peachy nudes are my favorite nudes. I love peachy nudes. And these, I already wore it before. It's, they're smooth. I mean, they're so good. They remind me of the Nobla ones I just got, which are phenomenal. They're the, the ooh. But they remind me of those, except these have, this has more color. So this is what the peachy nude one color looks like. Peachy nude. Oh, it's so beautiful. Feels so good on the lips. what I had on my lips before I put these on. These are the Flower Beauty. This is like their uh, their version of like a lip mask. These are so good. I mean, I already used this one up and that's how much product you get in here. I mean, these are almost $12. I don't think the price is right, but these are good. I like to sleep in there. They're thick, but not sticky. Very good lip mask. Here's my hair. 
Y'all see my hair? Anyway, that's not what this video is about. My beautiful sister locks, you know, that are headed down the back. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Love it. Love this nice nude look with a little pop to the eye, baby. <laughs> high-end luxury and Sephora is not the only place you're going to get some phenomenal products. The drugstore, Ulta, or some of these budget-friendly indie brands, they have it too. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're new here, you're welcome here. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that like button and I'll see you in another video.